In Russia, truck tractors have never been produced for long-distance transportation, that is, mainline truck tractors in the usual sense of the word. During the Soviet Union, the Minsk automobile plant in Belarus was responsible for the production of such trucks, and the Russian Federation that emerged after the Soviet Union purchased mainline truck tractors in Europe. But in the middle of the last decade, Russia's leading heavy truck manufacturer, the Kama Automobile Plant, or Kamas for short, decided to enter the mainline truck market with its own model. More precisely, with a whole family of new heavy trucks, which was called the Kamas K5 family. And in 2017, the premiere of the first of them took place. The Kamas 54901 main truck tractor. In 2020, it was launched into mass production. This truck tractor, in its design and technical device, really turned out to be at the level of similar European tractors and became a real breakthrough for the Russian automotive industry. Now I will tell about it. The main truck tractor of the K5 family was developed in cooperation with Daimler. The German project partner provided a cab frame and a rear drive axle from their flagship Mercedes-Benz Actros mainline truck tractor. But the design of both the exterior and interior of the Russian trucks of the K5 family was developed anew. For the production of cabin frames for trucks of the K5 family in the city of neighbor Izni Chelny, on the territory of the Kama automobile plant, a modern plant was built with the participation of Daimler, which began work in 2019. Kamaz K5 received a completely new inline six-cylinder diesel engine Kamaz 910 with a capacity of 450 horsepower, developed in cooperation with the German company Liebherr. Paired with it is the most modern German automatic transmission ZF Trixon. The hypoid type drive axle, as already mentioned, is supplied by Daimler. Both front and rear suspension is pneumatic. The cabin is designed for comfortable work and comfortable rest. Like modern European counterparts, Kamaz K5 has a modern multimedia system with the ability to navigate and control the operating parameters of the units, as well as a factory intelligent transport system. The service interval of a truck tractor is 120,000 km, and the resource is 1,200,000 km, unprecedented figures for heavy trucks previously produced in Russia. Now let's get acquainted with the main truck tractor Kamaz K5 in more detail. Let's start with its back, that is, from the rear overhang. Here, as in some modern European tractors, receivers and a battery box were found. Under its cover, there are two batteries at once, and with a very good capacity of 240 ampere hours each. Why are they here? From their usual place on the side of the frame, they were replaced by increased fuel tanks, the total capacity of which has grown to 1,400 liters. The high power of the engine made it possible to reduce the gear ratio of the final drive in the drive axle, and this, in turn, reduced fuel consumption. I note the easy accessibility of the nipples of both the outer and inner tires of the rear gable wheels, as well as the composite design of their wings with a removable top. The upper and two side fairings are fixed behind the cab in its entire height, as if covering the semi-trailer, thereby improving the aerodynamics of the road train. On the back of the machine, on the right, from the bottom up, there is an engine air intake pipe, and so, at its base there is a new air filter, in the body of which there are not one, but two filter elements, due to which its dust capacity is increased by about three quarters. Another interesting nuance. The flask of the fuel filter separator was made opaque, because a special indicator on the instrument panel will report the contamination of the fuel, that is, the presence of water in it. Now let's look at the tractor in front. Hidden under a flap below the windshield is the coolant reservoir, over there, it's right above the radiator, and the windshield washer fluid reservoir, which is to the left. Here, a remote control for automated lifting and lowering of the cabin is fixed on the bracket. There are only two buttons on it. Holding one, you raise the cabin, holding the other, you lower it. Very convenient. It takes less than two minutes, and access to the engine is open. Now let's go to the cockpit. We climb four steps, here, by the way, very comfortable handrails, on both sides of the doorway. Here it is, the salon of the latest Kamaz K5 truck tractor. I apologize that something is in polyethylene, the machine is intended for transfer to the customer who has already bought it. 
there is a really flat floor in the cab. The driver, 1 meter and 80 centimeters tall, can stand on it to his full height, and there will still be free space above his head. There are two sleeping shelves, and at least on the lower one, thanks to the width of the cabin of two and a half meters, you can stretch out without tightening your legs. The driver's seat with all possible adjustments, and with pneumatic suspension. The steering column is now set as far forward as possible so as not to interfere when entering and exiting the cab. In the lower part of the center console there is a shelf and cup holders of various sizes, and under them there are two drawers. At the top, now lies the ignition key. The steering wheel is multifunctional. Without removing your hands from its rim, using the buttons located on the steering wheel, you can control, for example, the radio, telephone or cruise control. On the center console there is a 10-inch touchscreen monitor, below it are two handles for controlling the airflow and the internal climate, to the right is the radio tuning knob, and even to the right is a video camera looking at the driver. Below, to the right of the steering wheel, we see the ignition key socket and next to it is the engine start button. Above, above the front glass, there are three illuminated glove boxes at once. The central one is larger, the side ones are smaller. And here two shelves are made, also one smaller, one larger. There is also a pocket for things at the head of the lower sleeping shelf. There are also two USB ports and control units for lighting and temperature in the cabin. By the way, the largest storage capacity is hidden under the lower bunk. This drawer is divided into two compartments. If desired, instead of it, you can order a refrigerator of the same volume. All the wiring for this is here. We start the tractor. The key is in the socket, the instrument panel lights up. A Mustang appears on it, the emblem of commas, and the Mustang also appears on the monitor on the center console, and then the menu of the onboard information system. Everything, now Mono press the start button, and the engine starts to work. I note that the monitor on the center console is one of the main working tools of the driver. Radio control, that is, the choice of a particular radio station, is only one of its few functions, and by no means the most important. It is much more important that diagnostic information is displayed on this monitor, that is, all the most necessary information about the condition of the car. And also, with its help, the climate system and preheater are controlled. With the help of this monitor, you can control the parameters of the engine, brakes and pneumatic system, data on battery charge, tire pressure and axle loads, information about malfunctions that have occurred, as well as settings for the preheater and auxiliary cab heater. In addition, this monitor allows you to use the onboard navigation and multimedia system, make phone calls, access the internet and numerous applications if necessary, and much more. It is very important that this system, in contrast to similar systems of many competitors, has an intuitive interface, and this, at the present time, is not so common. And what does the inconspicuous cover hide under the monitor on the center console? Here are two USB ports, under them is an O, that is, a pin connector, and a little higher, most likely, a slot for a SIM card. To the right of the mentioned cap is an inconspicuous matte triangle with the inscription NFC. This abbreviation is primarily associated with contactless payment with a bank card, mobile phone or, alternatively, a smart watch. In fact, this is a near-field communicator, that is, an ultra-long-range wireless communication interface designed for contactless exchange of information between the onboard information system and another gadget, let's say with the driver's mobile phone. In the spring of 2022, international sanctions were imposed against the Kama automobile plant, which made it difficult to produce trucks of the K5 family due to a significant amount of imported components in their design. But the stock of these components at the plant made it possible to manufacture Kama's K5 truck tractors on orders from transport companies for several more months. Now Kamaz is actively working to replace imported components in the design of the main truck tractor. Some of its units and systems will be manufactured in Russia, some will be imported from countries friendly to Russia. 
the Kama automobile plant expects to deliver localized versions of the Kama's K5 family of trucks to the assembly line in 2023.